flatbed. Now, I'm not sure what, what material you want to go flat. But, okay, so let's say here's the wheels, okay? And here's the flatbed. So this is the first floor. Now, when you look at it, I'm trying to get everybody's ideas. Like, people want it curved, people want this. So I'm thinking structure, lights, and curves. So the fact is a mutant thing. I'm thinking alien-like. Anything in nature doesn't look... Straight. Like, no straight lines. There's nothing straight in this nature. Now, you want this thing to extend, so I'm thinking it could go up. Where's and you've got the, this the nice cap? organic flow to it with the lights. You can use the shape with lights. Now, you can utilize the shape of roundness with lights. However, so this is the flatbed. Now, I'm thinking, when you look at it, so here's the cabin. Here's the cabin part. Imagine the truck cabin we can decorate as it is and not hide it. So it becomes the part of the feature, the face of it, okay? okay. So, so you're looking at it from the front. Now. So on top of it, the second level, I was thinking of a seat coming out so you can hang looking out this way. Mm -hmm. oh, it's really hard to explain. Okay. Forget that bit. <laughs> Inside, from the front, you're not going to see this. It's going to be thinner. This bit is going to be thinner, right? Um, This is going to be curved, steel coming out. So it's like that shape. So when you look at it, the, the bottom bit, even though you won't see it, will be like this. The rails will come out like this. So it's like, like that, the bottom shape, okay? So you've got these metal things going like this, coming out, creating this bulbous thing. Now forget the flatbed that comes out. You sure. don't need it. Yep, okay? yep, it's okay. just too much obstruction. Now these particular metal things, so it's like this bulbous shape that comes out. This is the bottom floor, bulbous shape, okay? Inside is a second level that's sort of held here, right? And it goes beyond the cabin. And this is where the seat gets divided. So you've got a seat coming out here and a seat going out there, okay? On the second level, You've got, I think, lights coming out here, but the structure can be sort of straight and thinner. Okay. And these go here at the back. Okay. So this seat here would be on top of the cabin, but it'd be like a round sort of throne coming out here. And then the throne also... It mirrors itself. God, each compartment of it has to be designed differently, and then I'll show you. I have to do different viewpoints. So these metal things, what can have is thread lights through them. So the poles, on the top there would be a light, and there could be flashing lights. You can have little things that stick on them. Um, I have something here to show you what I mean. Um, okay, so imagine um, a king's scepter. Scepter, and you've got a bulb thing here, and you've got a light thing coming out here. So you've got a light here, metal wrapped around. Sort of like a wizard's thing. Inside here, there's tube lights, so they're flashing and moving, boom, 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 all the way up, up and down, up and down, and those are constantly flashing. So the structure, we've got to make sure that the structure's there. We can wrap lights or we can have lights internally as tubes. They're like tubes of light. But when you look at them from frontwards, so you're in front of the cabin, forget the cabin's there, you're going to have this shape here. So they're like the banister. It's the banister of the front, the bottom part, okay? And these lights out here, Okay. In between this can be material that comes sort of out. So it's like a web of, um, it's stretched fabric, you know, from the inside. Or you can do a curtain that goes in, so you've got that option. But it's, it's like webbed feet of a frog. You know, and this bit's sort of see-through, and you've got lights flashing from the floor up. 
So these are illuminated. Okay. Um, they're webs. The material sort of is webbed. Okay, so the bottom floor, and inside you've got cushions, you've got, I would like to see some seating area in the front here, facing out, the DJ in the middle, you've got a cozy area, you've got to have a cozy area, plus you've got this seat here, you can hang your legs off here, you can sit here too, and watch from out here, and you can watch from out there. So the top level, sorry, I love it. okay, the top level, I love it. the Keep top on. level is more like a structure that goes up in between these lights and again you've got lights on top that flash and these are just like it's, it's basically flatbed and you've got this spiral staircase where did I do the spiral staircase the spiral staircase from below it twists around at the back and you just go up because you've got to have a way of getting up there so what, about, what about our stripper pole I don't think I'm teasing I'm teasing work. So, but we could have a pole if this is the front. We could have a pole that came down like right next to the cab, so you could just jump off. So you don't have to come back to the spiral staircase. Or you can have a rope that just comes down. There you go. A rope ladder. So, okay. So up here, what I was trying to do with this is when you've got the basic structure of this thing here with the lights, the rods that go mm -hmm. all the way down like this, that creates a like bars that you can see through, and the bars can be this far apart, so you can still jump down, but you wouldn't want to jump, but I mean, I'm just saying. You can get through them. But I would like to see some kind of shape here to give you some security of metal, metal here, all beautiful tarnished, tarnished metal, patinaed metal, and it could be like a boat, right? And then coming from the boat are the structures of these bars, but they're rounded. That gives you the roundness. And the platform, the structure, to stretch the fabric through. And it's so hard to learn to draw this because I'm not a three-dimensional artist. Um, okay. So each bar... I totally get it, Jules. You're so, doing great. So it kind of looks like a caterpillar would, but it's lit up from inside. But... You can have mesh at the bottom here, so you can see people dancing, or mesh at the top, and have some fabric, you know, but the fabric is colored, it's white and very see-through-ish, and fine mesh. But the option to unhook it, maybe you can hook it here, hook it here, it's sort of stretched and webbed. You know, I've got some white here. This fabric is stretched. Um, I see this kind of color coming is the bar. And you've got these lights. You know, I, I'd see a red light here, orange glows. You know, you can create light coming, you know, orange lights. You know, you can do orange, yellow, red, you know, make it fiery looking from inside out. So the lights, you know, there could be big lights shooting out on the fabric, creating this beautiful lantern glow. Um, but here, this metal is the structure that makes it rounded like this, like a bulbous thing. Now, it's, we're working with a long structure here. We're working with a long shape, right, the bed. Whatever you call it, what you twenty call it? foot, yep. It's yeah. the bed. The, the bed yep. is long and thin. But in order Eight to counteract back, yeah. that long thinness, you want to go out a little bit. Okay? So the shape is like this. The, the my face <laughs> is the this car bit with the wheels. Okay. So this throne, I have this idea of this throne on the top. Where you can hang your legs. Do you have another piece of paper so you can yeah, show I've me the throne? Of... Just do the throne. The throne. Okay. Okay. The throne has what I see is red velvet padding, like a shell. It's like the inside of an oyster shell. Okay, so it's like it's soft. 
and come to, I mean, this probably might not be very safe, but it's very organic in its, its shape. And then it sits on this metal, thick, thick metal going around it. Again, with your patina, you've got, you know, for it to sit, you can have like a, a metal holes here. Again, with more lights. You know, um, again, each pole, if we could design the poles to be filled with lights, but you know, you've got the beautiful metal as well. Um, need some more pastel colors, but this is all red. And then um, the So seat. just so I'm understanding, this is the front right here. So this would be facing out in front and you'd also have it mirrored so you'd see behind you. So this is sort you of good. I mean, if you want, or you but this could is just not have cushions. Side, but this is not Push. sideways. This is front ways. Yeah. So the this, cabin. This sits on top of the the, the cabin the of car, the truck, the yeah. car of the truck. Okay. So I'm so just So the saying, driver's head would be like right but here. To make it safe, you can have you know. Who this. wants to make it safe? Well, yeah. I want you to design it. We'll worry about safety. Well, the later. thing is, you could have this again with metal here. But inside, it's like a, a nice, comfy area, and I can just see lots of velvet padding. And how many Very people thin. could be fitting there? Um, three or four? One, two, three or four, yeah. And then on the back of that, if the back of the truck... Um, Jules, you know you're designing a masterpiece, right? <laughs> and, then, and I just wish I could visually... Like, I need you got to take time. each element you got and time. design it and then think of, okay, how is this going to go with this bit and what happens to join it and what can we add to make it look cool? Okay, we've but, got a 12-minute video. I'm cutting it off now. Say goodbye to the video. Oh, bye. bye. Sorry about my craziness. <laughs>